Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing? Look at this beautiful game thing, whatever the hell we're doing. Let's see if it works. This is a, this is going to be a video on specular lighting, which is beautiful, which is really, really nice. It's a way to, look at this cat, look at this cat. I remember the light was a little further back. Uh, there, there it is. So you see the diffuse lighting? Yep, we did create that so but it looks really bland right it's not a shiny cat it's just a lit cat it's really lit all right now let's fix this problem let's put it at one let's put light position zero at one so light position is gonna be like where the camera is basically so now now it looks a lot better now we can see how it, it kind of gets darker and darker the further away how we rotate it and stuff so yeah it's interacting with the cat now we're gonna do this we're gonna create specular lighting and those according to me are the three main types of lighting there's ambient diffuse and there's gonna be specular light and then we're gonna have something called attenuation later and that's just a cutoff for the light so this is the final light and we'll talk about atten attenuation later it's cut off it's something that makes the point lights kind of fade off in the distance so they're not unlimited the distance isn't unlimited but we're talking about that later so what do we need for a specular light let me just try to try to show you uh chrome just try to show you what the hell's going on let's see specu specular lighting there we go so this is a good image for that let's see so what we need we need a camera position your view your eye the object itself down here the normal at that pixel where we wanna because we're gonna do that for every pixel here imagine this being a, a circular object the normal is gonna look different in every spot but for just this pixel it's right up like that this is the light coming in to that pixel and a reflection vector going out so we have a light coming in it reflecting uh, using the normal so there's a reflect function which uses the normal like that and then we have the view so we're gonna take the angle between the view direction from the position and the reflection vector take the angle between that and that's gonna be a value for us to say how much like how how strong the specular lighting in that point is so it's gonna be like a shiny metal effect all right so that's really good to know and you can read about it I guess in this picture <laughs> Yeah, you can do that. But yeah, let's just keep going here. Let me just turn close that. Um, let me see. So to start off, we need something from the light to the position. So I'm gonna call it a vec three, a vector, light to pos vec, dir vec. So light to position directional vector is a normal normalize normalized vector vs position minus light pos zero all right so there we go we have a light to position i think it should be the other way around though uh, minus vs position just like that because that's the other way around uh, light to pos direct and then we need a vec3 ref Select the vec equals. Whoops, what's going on? Equals normalize. Uh, reflect. This reflect is a GLSL function, which just reflects a uh, vector using a normal. Remember? So we're gonna give it what we want to reflect. We want a light to post the vec and want to reflect it using the vs normal which we sent in and we never want to assume anything so we just want to normalize this normal as well just like that so there we go uh, so this is gonna be from the light down and this is gonna reflect that using the normal now we have those two now remember we need a, another one. we need a vec3 for post to view there vec and this is gonna be uh, normalize 
we think camera position to a VS position and that should be again I think that we'll play around with this we'll see this order is sometimes weird uh, camera pos just do that position to camera position to camera all right it's like that then we're gonna need a float called uh, let's call it specular constant and it's gonna be the power of max all right dot the dot product remember this is the angle between the reflection vector and the post to view directional vector so we got the vector to the view and we have the reflection vector and the dot product in between that the cosine value of that is going to be either minus one or one right so but we don't want it to be minus one that's why we're setting a max so the max is going to be either this uh, dot product post to or light light oh no no sorry post to view the vec and then reflect the vec and then we'll say that's the max between that and zero so we don't want it to be minus one zero is the least and this is the highest so if this is less than zero or equal to zero just set to zero uh, and then we want a power of 30 to make it a little stronger the more you change this the more the higher this is the smaller the dot is going to be this the more the shininess is going to be kind of and then we're just on the wick three specular final equals a color maybe 1.5 1. 1. 1. 1. we'll just have it white multiplied by spec specular constant all right and then we just want to add it here add a vec for uh, specular final 1.f now let's start this and it's going to crash because i probably wrote something wrong here let me see. Yep. Uh, let's see. Well, camera, undefined variable camera position. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Now we do have a camera position out here, but I don't want to send this in really. I just want to. Actually, I could. I could. I could just, just let's just do that. Let's do this. Core program. Camera. Post. I'll send in one. Vec three. Of floats. I will say camera pose right camera position position cam position there we go camera pose all right so we'll send this into the fragment shader here we'll make a uniform vec3 camera pose like that and then that should work All right, so there we go. See that little dot here? That's beautiful, right there. Boom, just like that. And how? Look how the cat just shines. Let me see if I can make that bigger for you. Look, look at how the cat just shines. Look at that beautiful specular lighting. All right, and if we get closer, the dot's gonna get smaller, just like that. Now let me see if I can make it a little stronger. What if we have a hundred here? Boom, you'll see the dot become a lot smaller. See that? It's a lot more shiny-ish, or whatever you want to call it, or just more pointy, basically. So you can play around with the values. I like 30, 35, something like that, to have uh, a nice, nice little, sorry about the sounds, uh, nice specular light, just like that. See that? Beautiful. Look at that. Boom. Boom. So there you go, guys and girls. That's your nice cat shining with specular lighting. Next time we're going to talk about attenuation and after that we're probably going to try to split all this up into functions and uh, then split the whole program up into functions and, and show you how how you make objects, different objects with the same vertex information and how to make different models in the same scene, maybe a cube or a plane or whatever. So we'll, we'll play around a little bit with that so it's going to be fun. But I hope you learned something here um, with all these things. If you get errors where everything is kind of black or it's not working, 
try to switch these positions here switch all of these but it should be correct this is position to light usually it is like whatever is in front you want to have in front here so from the light to the position so the light minus the position all right the position minus the light sorry just like that uh, but yeah yes don't forget to add it in here as well i think that's about it guys and girls and please read about it on learnopengl.com it's not my home page i did not write out all that stuff i think the dude's name is on the home page but uh, he's great and he really helped me out a lot in learning OpenGL. and i hope he helps you out as well just as i'm trying to do uh, but thanks for watching again take care best of luck and i'll see you in the next one all right bye, -bye.